Hey guys, it's Joey from Class J Video Productions. I just went to a Pen Lovers Paradise, which is uh, over by the courthouse in Virginia Beach. And I got some really cool stuff. I got a new Converse since I lost the other one. And I decided to try some new ink. This is Noodler's Blue Black Ink. I wanted to try Pilot Orochizuku Sukiyo, but they wanted thirty-five dollars for that. And well, I'm not. Let's just say I'm not that crazy. But um, anyway, I'll go ahead and open this up. Now, as you can see, this is a substantial size difference over uh, the Private Reserve Naples Blue. This is the closest that they had to um, <clears throat> to the uh, regular to the Suki uh, as far as I could tell. Now, one thing that the lady there told me to do was to be absolutely sure to. Be absolutely sure to hold on to the bottle when you open because they fill it all the way to the top as you can clearly see and she was not kidding. So with that said I'm going to go ahead and empty out. This is the uh, This is the uh, cart the uh, regular Lamy cartridge in there, and uh, I'll just go ahead and empty it out. Looks like it's still got a decent amount of ink in there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and stop recording and I'll uh, get back to you real quick. Alright, with that said, it is completely out of ink now. Didn't take very long, but uh, anyway. Let's go ahead and try this out. Oh, wow. Okay. See if we can get a good amount of ink in there. No, didn't quite go in. Try it again. Looks like this is going to take a couple of tries. Wait, and I gotta wipe that off because that looks kind of messy. Alright, now let's give it a whirl. Oh wow, very dark blue black. Wait a minute. That's black. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Huh. Nah. It's just a very dark blue black, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. No, yeah, that's blue black. Wow. 
That's very, very dark. <clears throat> it's almost completely black. That is some of the darkest blue black I think I've seen. Definitely looks different than uh, what I expected, but uh, it is a beautiful color for sure. Yeah, I guess it depends on the way the light hits it. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, that's almost black. I'm pretty sure she gave me the right color though. Yeah, you can see it looks blue. But wow. Yeah, that's definitely um, blue black, but that's the darkest blue black I've ever seen. I think I might like the uh, Naples blue a little bit better because it's more of a true blue, but let's see how it does with the bleeding. Not too bad. Boy, the whole lot there at first, but uh, it actually looks blue over on that side. Maybe, uh, oh, you know what I just realized? You're supposed to shake the ink. I completely forgot about that because the colors can separate. Oh my god, how could I forget that? That's why the colors are all wrong. I was supposed to shake the ink first. Let's see, oh yeah, that's better. Now let's try it. I'm going to take a couple tries here. Let's try that again. Well, looks like it's probably about the same, but uh, we'll see what happens here. Still looks pretty black to me. I mean, it's a very pretty color, but it definitely wasn't what I expected.
and the owner of Pen Lovers Paradise was showing me through the dip pen, it looked uh, a lot different. But uh, maybe, maybe you're supposed to shake it more. I don't know. Hold on just a minute, I'm going to try again. I got ink everywhere, but anyway, uh, it wasn't the uh, color I expected. I don't know if it's because the paper's different or what. I'll go ahead and try again here. can see a tiny bit of blue in there just barely it is uh, it is a very pretty ink but uh, I was hoping there would be more of a blue tint in there more like that blue there more like Sukiyo, but I guess I guess depending on the pen, it does different. You know, I think I might go ahead and try this with the. Um, I think I might go ahead and try this with the Pilot Metropolitan, and see if it yields different results. I don't, know. I don't know. I guess I guess I was kind of just hoping it would be more of a blue blue instead of a black, but uh, that's okay. I still got my Naples blue right here, so we'll have to see. Um, looks like there's still some blue in there, but uh, here we go. I'll go ahead and. Suck it up through the uh, Pilot Metropolitan in here. See if it looks any different because sometimes, sometimes it could be a little different with different pens. Let's see. Well, it does actually look a little more blue. Yeah, I know you can't really see it from here, but um, I'll go ahead and take it off the tripod. As you can see, that is more like the color I thought it would be. I guess it really just kind of depends on what kind of ink you're using, but... It definitely looks more black to me, so <clears throat> it looks like I'm stuck with using uh, black blue ink instead of blue black or something like that. Maybe it would have yielded better results if I had uh, shaken the colors or shaken the bottle before I started using it. Let's see. Hmm. 
No. Anyway, it's still a very pretty color. No doubt about it. But uh, I think next time I'll opt for something a little bit lighter. But we'll see. I mean, it's the bleeding isn't too terrible. Funny thing is, you can see the blue on the other side. And then you can see just a tiny bit of blue in there, but I mean, it's not much. I mean, it's mostly. Mostly black, but uh, it's um, it's good because I'm it's now breathing new life into uh, my pen because I uh, and that's really messy. I'm gonna have to throw that out. Um, it's breathing new life into um, my Lamy pen because I lost the other one that I had, which meant I also lost the converter, so uh, that's not good. Noodlers. The more I'm using it, the more I'm seeing some um, blue in there. I guess maybe the colors just have to separate. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing more blue in there now. So, looks like, um, but I think maybe next time. I might um, go for a light. I think next time I might uh, go for a lighter color. But yeah, a little bit of blue. That was a lot darker than I expected. A lot darker, but I am glad that I uh, tried it. But I, uh, I think I think next time I might go for something a little bit lighter, like maybe. Private Reserve DC Super Show Blue or something like that, but but it is very nice ink, and depending on how the light hits it, you can see a little bit of blue in there. Not much, but uh, just a teeny tiny. Just a teeny tiny bit. But the funny thing is, on that side you can see it. So, oh, I guess I'll have to shake it up a little bit more and uh, maybe try it and see if it gets better results. But right now, uh, it wasn't quite what I expected. But it is nice ink. It was just a lot darker than I thought it would be. So, we'll try again and. Um, because I can see some blue in there when it was bleeding a lot more, but now it doesn't bleed so bad. So maybe I do. Maybe you do have to shake it more to let the color separate. But anyway, I'll do another update video soon and let you know. Over and out. All right. So um, I found out that I needed to uh, shake the colors more. Yes, I already have a whole bunch of uh, ink on the label there, but. That's okay. Um, anyway, I've been using this pen for a little bit now, and uh, It's not bad. It's um 
definitely a little darker than I expected. But uh, this is Needler's ink right out of a uh, Lamy Safari pen. And my cursive's not that great, but anyway. Um, I'm thinking of maybe getting the um, Ottoman Azure color next time. And I'll see if I can get kind of close there. Yeah, so you can see the blue when I zoom in. Definitely can see the blue. Let's try that one more time. Slightly zoomed out. There you go. It's not quite on the lines there, but it's close enough. And as you can see, there's very little feathering with um, this ink. And it dries in a decent amount of time. Yeah, you can see it's dry already. So that's pretty good. It's um, a little bit different than uh, the Naples blue, which I've demonstrated for you before. That's with the uh, Lamy Safari. Now, um, with the um, Pilot Metropolitan, it's a little bit different. This is of course due in part to the fact that Japanese nibs run much more on the fine side than a German nib. Lamy. Pilot. You can see the difference right there. You know, see how much finer the pilot is. But that's just, they're just ground differently, so that's why they look like that. But, uh, anyway. Um, I was really not a fan of this ink when I first started out, but... I really think I'm starting to, uh, get used to it now. You can definitely see the blue more. I think it was operator error in the first place. And uh, I'll go ahead and write the word beautiful. You can definitely see the line difference. That's the pilot right there. And there's the Lamy. Definitely a thicker line. Um, I dare say though that you can actually see the blue more in the pilot. Despite the fact that it's the same ink. Yeah, you can see that uh, it's marked as a medium, so it is a medium point, but uh, definitely, like I said, more on the fine side, but 
Um, give that a minute to dry. I'm really starting to like the sink. Um, I initially kind of regretted my purchase because I thought it was going to be more like Suki um, um, from Orochizuku. But, um, and I would have gotten that ink, but they wanted $35 for it, and that's just crazy. I'm going to save up for a car as well as gas money from my rail fan trips so I couldn't do that so let's go ahead and write that same phrase but with the lammy go ahead and give that a minute to dry okay you know, see this is a much wetter pen, so uh, drying time can be a little bit more. I probably should have put a little more spacing in between there, but that's okay. Looks like it says lazy dog. <laughs> But that's okay. I'm not... This isn't like a professional paper or anything, so... That I need to turn in for a class or something. And as you can see, there's little to no bleeding. That was one thing I was really impressed with. And this is uh, standard made paper here. I would have gone for... This is a, a new notebook. But uh, I would have gone for the caliber, but the caliber felt a little on the slick side. I think they changed it a little bit since I last bought a notebook so um, I went ahead and went for the meat even though it was a lot more expensive and you can see I've got ink all over my hands the joys of writing with fountain pens but um And you can see there's some ink collected on the tip there too. But it's um it really is starting to grow on me. And um I think it's I think this ink was only about eleven dollars, eleven, twelve dollars, something like that. I don't exactly remember, but it's um it's not too expensive. And it's a great buy. So, um, I apologize for my, um, what am I trying to say? My negative opinion at first. Um, but, uh, one thing, and I cannot stress this enough. shake the ink when you get it this kind of ink needs to be shaken I mean don't do it too hard because um, as you can see I got some on my shirt there because some of the ink started flinging everywhere and uh, like I also had said I've used some of it now but they fill it 
to the very top. Nidors fills it to the very top. And so be extremely careful when uh, taking it off and taking the cap off. You probably want to grab onto the bow with one hand and uncap with the other um, to prevent ruining anything. Um, anyway, just something to keep in mind, but uh, one thing I do like about it is it is made in USA, which can be very hard to find these days. I don't know where private reserve was made, but anyway. And look at the size difference. I mentioned this before too. Look at the size difference. That's quite a bit more ink in the New Yorks, which will in turn last me longer. Uh, I still have um, I still have a fair amount of the uh, private reserve left. As you can see. But, uh, let's see if I can make a little fingerprint. Hmm. Not really. Anyway, I'll wash my hands later, I guess. But um, anyway, that's um, that's the show. I'm just gonna give you a little demonstration here. Um, show the difference in the shading. So you can see it is quite a bit different. And uh, I'm gonna mess on my hands now, but I'll wash that off. Anyway, that's to uh, show you the difference. This is Naples Blue from Private Reserve. And then the Noodlers is right here. So quite a bit of uh, shading difference. Um, don't really know which one I like better. They're so different. So it's really hard to compare the two. But... I um I'd say to be honest with you there that probably the um and you can see the different um, difference in my fingers too. You can tell that uh the um I think I think actually the New Yours is like I said very comparable um it's very comparable to um, to a Roshi Zuku. Suki I think. But it's um like I said like I've said before, they want Thirty-five dollars for that ink. No thanks. Too much money. I think the private reserve was like I don't know four or five. I mean, as you can see, it's a much smaller bottle. Noodles, you get more bang for your buck. And they fill it to the and as I've said before, they fill it to the very top. I mean, as you can see, the bow of Private Reserve barely comes up to the top of the cake pan I have here, whereas the new doors uh, sticks up. So more bang for your buck as far as the new doors is concerned. I like I said, I, it is it is starting to grow on me. It's growing on me a little bit. So I think you should give it a chance. It's not really the shade that I was hoping for. But I mean, 
you gotta admit, it looks really pretty. And I'd say if I can have Pilot and Roshizuku, this would probably be one of the next best. See that? Anyway, I do still want to try the Ottoman Azure because that's more like, um, it's more like the Naples blue color and uh, I think it would be very interesting to uh, compare so uh, hang on just a minute Give me a minute here. And that's going to blot and bleed really bad. Yeah, look at how it feathers. That's ridiculous. That's one reason why I stopped using the bot. Well, that's one reason I don't like using bottle ink in the gen. How it just bleeds way too much. It's ridiculous. That's bad. That's really bad. Those are my uh, initial impressions of this ink, and uh, I will make another video once I uh, cross over to the um, Ottomans Azure ink. Or um, I'm thinking about either trying that or Bay State Blue, which I mean is I think Bay State Blue is more like the color of the Lamy cartridges. So that would be kind of a lateral move. I'd probably try Ottomans Azure or Bay State Blue or Bernanke Blue, I think is the name of it. It's probably what I'll end up doing, but anyway. Oh, and I'd also like to uh, give a shout out to my buddy John. It's his birthday today. Uh, Hurricane John 8311 on YouTube. Happy birthday, John. Hope you're having a good day, man. So, anyway, that concludes my video of the Noodlers Blue Black Ink and uh, get yours today and I will let you know when I get the Ottomans Azure so I can compare them and compare to the Private Reserve Naples Blue as well anyway thanks for watching have a good day